So in the first tutorial for sculpting, we're going to focus on something simple like just playing with the proportions of our character. For this, we're going to do it all in a new mode called Sculpt Mode. And from here, we're going to use only two shortcuts for now. Our cursor is now a brush. We're going to change the size of this brush with F and then shift F for the strength of this one. We're also going to use uh, only one brush for now, which is called Grab. And with this brush enabled, you can just click on your mesh and move the vertices around. It's one of the simplest brushes and it's really nice because you can uh, quickly move many vertices around, change the shape, and just play. F to change the radius and shift F to change the strength. Something you have to take care of is sometimes if you're uh, playing in the close to the center of your object, you have to take care of the uh, mirror modifier that clips the vertices that are so close. So you may want to uh, disable clipping for a little bit and then enable it again. Remember, this doesn't add any geometry. It just moves the vertices that are already there. Inside this tool, or any tool actually, any brush, you can quickly switch to another brush, which is called the smooth brush. And you can do it so by uh, holding shift and then clicking. Not using steel, but I will do it right now. First, want to quickly, quickly change the shape. And here, you can do it manually, or you can just hold shift, and then when you click, it will use the smooth brush. So you don't have, the smoothing is something really common, so you don't have to switch back and forth all the time. These two brushes, by default, have different strength, each of them. You can unify the strength of them from the options panel in the in the T panel on the left. Then if you change the strength of one brush, it will change the strength of all of them. Which sometimes can be useful. You know, sometimes you have to model uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable parts. So big changes are pretty easy to do with this brush, and it's, it's pretty nice. I like to do it this way. There are also other brushes we are going to cover mostly in the uh, second part. But for now, for example, what you could uh, try as well is the crease brush. We're going to use it now. The crease brush, what it does is it makes a little crease, like the name said, but using the uh, vertices provided there. So it doesn't add any geometry as well. So sometimes can be useful, but in this case, we don't have many vertices. So in the next tutorial, we are going to add more geometry. And in that case, we're going to, to use it a lot. You may notice that I undo steps all the time. And this uses some memory. So sometimes you want to limit that. If you have a lot of geometry, you can do it from the user preferences settings. Editing, and then on the undo setting, you can change the step or just limit 
with the memory limit slider, just limit that by uh, megabytes. So if you have, I don't know, like two gigabytes of RAM, you can set it to one gigabyte, so it only uses one, or the same if you have four, you can make it use two or three. So if you zoom out, it's, it's really good to change many vertices at the same time, but take care again of the modifier that joins them in the center, in the middle. I'm now enabling the uh, wire from the object setting so we can see where the actual vertices are and what we are actually moving here. So this is a really good way to tweak uh, organic characters. I use it a lot, it's nice to play with the proportions and change the shape of your character completely almost. We are not going that much into detail because we don't have enough geometry. This will be covered in the next chapter when we add a new modifier called multi-res solution. So if you need more information or some nice links or videos on Sculpt, just check uh, venuslab.com question mark Yeah, hey, make a smile. It's important to make a smile your character. So, uh, that's it. Let's move to the next one.